What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brendan and I'm BMANX45 and today we're coming at you with another video. We have a hobby news for Star Wars Legion. We just got a new scene to stats from Atomic Mass Games on the next expansion, which is the Republic Commandos for the uh, Grand Republic faction. So we're going to get into it, we're going to talk about it, what we like about it, what we don't like uh, when we're going to see this come out. We'll talk about a few different things and kind of learn a little bit about the Clone Commandos. And hey, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. So here we have um, many elite units serve the Grand Army of the Republic during the long years of the Clone Wars. The most famous among those were the Clone Commandos, units that com uh, completed numerous important and sensitive missions. Uniquely trained with superior equipment, they specialized in infiltration and covert operations. They carried out actions critical to the success of the Republic and were a key part of winning the war against the Separatist Alliance. So we look in, we're looking into the clone commandos now. Um, the thing that makes me uh, um, that, I rec um, that I think about when I think about these guys is the Delta Squadron from the <coughs> um, it was Rogue Squadron game. I, I can't remember. But uh, the, the Delta Squad from the one game, Star Wars game that they just redid for Switch a little while ago. Uh, so you have your clone commander. You get four base units, uh, red defense dice, uh, courage one or sorry, courage two, um, one hit and seventy five points for the squad. Complete the mission during the setup. Uh, place a priority mission token on the battlefield outside of any deployment zone. While this unit is at range one of the priority mission token, it gains surge to defend. Fence, so that's cool. Uh, when a unit, when this unit attacks an enemy unit that is at range one of the priority token mission, this unit's attack pool gains critical two. That's pretty cool. Uh, equip uh, Katarn pattern armor, and they have infiltrate, recharge one, target one, and shield one. So they're gonna have shields. So that's really cool. They also have grenades, attack. Um, I always forget all the names. Comms, uh, gun mod, or kind of like a mod there. Um, doesn't look like you're going to be able to put other troopers in there because they don't have like. So it seems like that's the only one. Um, I always forget these, um, but yeah, they're really good. And then uh, and the tech. Um, so melee of two black dice and a range one to two blaster, which is black. White was suppressive. <coughs> Clone commandos are equipped with the DC-17M ICWS blaster carbine, a short-range weapon that effectively suppresses enemy trooper units. They also utilize a gauntlet viro blade. It's kind of cool. In melee, uh, an adaptive unit. Clone commandos can be upgraded via training equipment, grenade, comms, and armament slot. Um, yeah, training. That's what it was. I always forget that it's called training. Um, yeah. Armament. The gun. The gun. It's the armament one. Uh, finally, their armor grants them shielded one for better protection against ranged attacks. Uh, the unique ability and skills of the clone commanders are also reflected in other ways on their unit cards. Um, target one provides the unit with an aim token when they are issued an order. Uh, they must equip... Katarn pattern armor, which uh, doesn't cost you anything, so that's really good. Which provides legendary protection. Uh, moreover, as its specialized com commando unit, they can start the battle close to their objective with infiltrate. Yes. Uh, once in place, complete the mission uh, it ensures their success. This addition to clone commandos allows you to place a priority mission token on the battlefield outside any deployment zone. While the clone commandos are at range one of the priority mission token, they gain surge to block. Additionally, when they attack an enemy at range one of the priority mission token, the commandos gain critical too. So yeah, same thing we just already basically went through. <coughs> so there's, yeah, there's the anti-armor configuration. So it's got a range one to two, two black dice. 
uh, at the start of this unit's activation, you may flip this card uh, even if it's exhausted. Impact, reconfigure, and scatter. So that's cool. cool. And then it flips for the sniper config. At the start of this unit's activation, it may flip this card uh, even if it is exhausted. It's range three to four, so if you, you're out of if you're out of range, you can use it like that. And then while one or more of these weapons is in an attack pool, uh, that attack pool gains lethal one, high velocity, and reconfigure. So you got options. You don't need to be short range. You can be longer range. And then the pattern armor has when this unit would be assigned more than one wound, from a non-melee attack, you may expend this card. Assign this unit one wound instead. Okay. So basically saves you from losing a guy. Um, it's going to be really good. So it looks like it's just going to be a small four-person you know, strike squad, but you're going to have the sniper ability. So you're going to have you know red dice. So that's the cool thing is, is when you have four, you can throw four red dice early on in the game, which is going to be fun. <laughs> and then like when they get into range, you can throw between, you know, like depending on if you've lost any guys between six to eight, you have red defense dice, which is also really good. Uh, and you have, um, and you have the guitar and pattern armor to kind of keep you. So, I mean, the fact is that you're shielded, um, you get those shields, and then they're gone, and then you can basically use your shield, and your shield comes back, so you can use your shield, I don't know, or I think it, yeah, recharge one, so you can recharge your shield, so that's really great. Um, the armor provides unparalleled protection, allowing you to expend an upgrade when it would be assigned more than one wound, and, so sweet, and just assigned one, so it can just hit your shield, so that's really good. Additionally, the DC-17M uh, dash has two alternate configurations uh, to help clone commandos adjust to different situations on the battlefield. First, the anti-armor config, and yeah. No, it's... And yeah, this is really cool. And it's considered a support, which I think is why it doesn't have trooper slots, is because it's a support. Uh, and not a trooper unit or a special ops or s stuff like that. But yeah, this is, looks really cool. Uh, I like the fact, I do agree with the fact of not being able to add more minis if it is a, considered a support slot. Um, it seems really powerful with the shield and just the amount of dice that you can throw. I mean, four red, eight black. It's... Uh, it's definitely a good option so and then uh, it'll be interesting to see I think we get this in May I want to say uh, May 3rd so these release May 3rd so that is when we were gonna get this so it's, it's kind of cool I, I really like this and it's a short small so it'll be nice and easy to um, to paint simple colors like most of the uh, most of the clones, but uh, I, again, really cool, and I'm really excited for it because I love clones, and I can't wait to uh, see what this expansion can bring to the game. So that's what we got, guys. Uh, big beefy shielded guys with uh, cool guns. I think they're gonna be fun. I think they're gonna be really fun for the the faction. Uh, so I can't wait to see uh, what they look like, and I can't wait to see what they do for the Republic. Um, I'm just really excited for more Republic stuff. I just really, really like the grant. I love clones. Uh, Separatists really fun too, but I really like clones. They're probably my favorite. Uh, my favorite of all time. The tank is just so much co fun. They're so cool. But tell me what you guys think. Do you like this? Do you think it's good? Uh, I think this is going to be super. I, I like all the keywords there. I think it's going to be really good. I feel like clones sometimes needs something in the way of support in certain areas and I think this is definitely a good um, a good way to go forward with that so tell me what you guys think are you looking forward are you going to pick up some clone commandos or are you going to fight
of the Separatist Alliance. Looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we hope to see you in the next video. As always, have a wonderful day. That's all for now, folks.